Running in the sand Living on the land The salty breeze was in our eyes We stood beneath the dragonflies And danced All night I'm recording you okay. I'm shaking Don't shake It's a seizure <laughs> okay. Mama Homestead here. I wanted to give a quick subscriber shout out to um, a bunch of our active subscribers. Um, if you are not yet a subscriber, click the big red button and you could be featured in one of our subscriber shout out videos. Um, I want to give a shout out to Contingency Preps, Aussie Survival. I wanted to say what's up to Fuller Farms. I noticed that um, you are a new subscriber, but you have been very active on our channel, which we appreciate. Um, of course, Rudog Gone Bush. We love you, man. Thumbs up to you. And our newest subscriber, Robert Lawrence. We appreciate your subscription and look forward to getting to know you. Any of our new subscribers, if you want to check out the friends that I've mentioned today, scroll down in the description box. I'll put a link to their channel so you can check them out, show them some love too. And if there's anybody that you can think of that we may be interested in, someone that we might be like-minded with, leave a comment below with a link to their channel and I'll check it out. Well, we have a subscriber by the name of Rudolph Gone Bush. Uh, one of our Aussie mates down there in Australia who uh, wanted to see some more pictures of a shooting. Um, this is actually an older bow. You want to see a little closer to it. This is a 2002 Hoyt and Tyser uh, Carbonite. It's an older school bow, but I actually like it because it hits like a ton of bricks. Uh, 68 pound draw, fully maxed out. I don't know, I guess you might want to call it a real bow. Uh, it has no cams in it, so either you're going to pull the 68 or <laughs> you're not. So, I'm going to shoot a couple shots here for you uh, so you can kind of see what it's doing. Twenty yards, it's pretty, pretty nasty. Usually I shoot through it, which I did again. <laughs> Oh, penetration of this thing's pretty nuts. These are actually 31 inch arrows because I have a 20. six in the evening so um, oh man sorry I haven't shot in almost a week um, give me some pointers man and maybe do some tricks how to silence this thing like a pillow over it or something I don't know but it kind of sucks <laughs> I can't remember the sights on it now it's actually a trophy oh, it's a limb saver sight it actually works pretty good only thing I got to say is the uh, fiber optic design is a little primitive to it to where basically if the light's not directly overhead like in low light levels in the mornings or at night it's hard to see anything so I'm always switching that out I actually went to uh, HHA optimizer that's what I'm going to go with a single pen uh, adjustable out to 100 yards not that I'm going to shoot at 100 yards but you never know it's going to make me mad um, but anyway, here's a brother appreciate your subscriptions we're following your videos as well and uh Oh yeah, my wife wanted me to tell you something too. I've actually been to Australia, uh, Navy. I don't know where, what part of Australia you're from. I have to get into that a little further, but been to uh, Melbourne, Darwin, and Sydney, and Perth. So out of those four places, so I've kind of been to your side. You got to come over to our side and see how we go hunting on this side. <laughs> so, all right, Rudog, that's all I got for you, brother. I gotta just hit the hay, get up early. Two in the morning comes pretty quick around here. I'm sure it does anywhere, but <laughs> um, on one of your comments, you said you're looking forward to the, the hunting videos, and trust me, we'll be doing them uh, out here.
here they're pretty finicky on tags and draws and all this other stupid crap. Um, one thing about where I'm from in Ohio, you pretty much can shoot what walks. <laughs> so, but here it's basically a lottery. Um, so we put in for elk, antelope, which those are far fetches on those ones because I want bull. I don't want a, a cow. Um, mule deer and coos whitetail deer, we put in for those as well when it comes ready. Uh, fall turkey. Um, so keep your eyes posted, brother. I'll make sure I give a shout out to you when I do it. Uh, maybe I can say go root dog when I shoot a turkey or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, depends on what my wife makes me do. Kind of like these videos. Anywho. All right, brother. Stay easy down there, down under, and have a good one, man.